Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Helmut Hörich. I'm representing the European Handball Federation. Unfortunately, as you can see, I cannot be with you today due to my knee surgery. But thanks to Agata, Ladislav and Harald, who gave me the green flag for this video message, I will try my best to provide you with some insight relating to your conference topic. And for that I have chosen a special topic, uh, which is the following handball for life, the player's environment from grassroots to the top and beyond. When it comes to education in the European Handball Federation, we are in the lucky position that from the very beginning, which have started in 1991, uh, our leadership always paid great attention to educational services, to rendering education to our stakeholders and facilitators. From the list exposed, you can see some of our recommendations for good governance, which means that competition administration, management, marketing is not included here specifically, but all educational remarks and recommendation you can see here. What does it mean? From the very beginning we followed education, certification, licensing in some fields on the way to employability as the lifelong learning principle and that will be implemented or is already implemented in our educational services. A further objective is to enhance and activate the community, on the one hand the facilitators of our sport, on the other hand the big public. By social media, by finding new partners, university and also paying attention to uh, the well-known corporate social responsibility aspect. The starting point are the team sport values, commonly known, that are always related to our activities, especially on grassroots level and in our educational services. Mini handball, street handball, or as we call it, Golja, beach handball, wheelchair, or special handball, handball for health, handball fitness, are terms related to activities that do not know any age uh, borders or categories. Uh, this is important to know because one of the educational principles of EHF is to start with the youngest. So we have excellent experience with our young referee uh, project or program as it is called now. We have a young coaches workshop every year and our media management uh, also finished successfully the idea of young reporters. What are the team sport values we, of course, want to mirror or to pay attention to in all our activities? Building a community, team spirit, fair play, encouraging lifelong habits for creating health benefits, uh, deconstruction of barriers and pushback boundaries, for example, social inclusion, and also the cultivation of uh, players, contacts, and interactions from the professional to the amateurs to the handball community on grassroots level. Who is going to do that? It is the EHF lecturers, the scientific network members, so we have a good teaching staff competence uh, and this mainly answers the question why we do invest in skills and qualifications of people. As you know, there is ethics in, and moral in sports, and there are functional needs in sports. What we were lucky to find out, and with the big support of a famous guy from Vienna, Professor Musarek, from the Sigmund Freud uh, Private University, head of the Institute for Social Aesthetics and Mental Health, is that there are musts and shoots on the side of the ethics, as you can see on the slide, 
and there are cans and wants, mainly referring to the pleasures, the enjoyment, the autonomous life people want to lead. The mixture of both aspects is mirrored in the character and the virtues a sportsman, an athlete, a facilitator is representing. So, social aesthetics in handball is a therapy coming from the field of addict therapy and uh, is used for coaching of all different target groups. In handball it means the uh, encounter, the beautiful encounter relation of all the parties involved as listed here. One of the best practices of EHF so far is the EHF coaching convention, uh, which means that uh, it is named after the first chairman of the EHF Methods Commission, Claude Rink. The Rink Convention, with current 40 out of 50 EHF member federations, the signatories following a curriculum and recommendation how to make coaches' education and certifi certificates comparable insight within Europe to assure mobility and to uh, make things comparable, which has an effect on licensing, of course, and on employability of coaches all over Europe. In 2014-15, we managed as the second sport in Europe to accomplish a Europe-wide coaching licensing system on level three of our convention uh, and next year we will start with the highest level, the master coach education, the master coach certificate, the pro license like in UEFA, uh, making it mandatory for uh, teams taking part in our flagship events, the EHF Euros, the national team competitions and the Champions League one year later uh, for club competitions. Many of you are involved or the driving forces in higher education, private universities, public universities, and one thing we need more in sports. We need support from these higher education institutes uh, when we talk about education in sport. The University of Las Palmas in Gran Canaria they revised their status after evaluating our ring convention curriculum and educational letter and said we can offer all participants a postgraduate master degree after the Bologna uh, system. They rated our uh, education in ring convention with 54 points and established a system with a final project work and experts, renowned experts in handball from all over Europe with a university background and also involving their own people like Miguel Betancourt, the famous basketball, the legendary basketball referee and university professor there. And so far, 25 people have accomplished this academic EHF master coach degree. Another, in the meantime, long-lasting partner of EHF in concerning universities is the German Sport University in Cologne. They, together with EHF or in cooperation with EHF, conceived the European Handball Manager Program, a 12-month certificate program that is open for academics, of course, but also for professional people working in our sport with at least five years uh, experience uh, in professional sport administration. And so far, uh, around 80 people, very renowned ones, as you can see on the picture, Viktor Schillaki or uh, Miss Ketemann from Rhein-Neckar Löwen, have uh, accomplished that educational program that is uh, offered every year on the one hand of course in English followed by 
a course in German language in the subsequent year. After this introduction in our educational philosophy and services, I would like to comment on the actual topic I chose. This is uh, Handball for Life. It is also the title of our Jubilee Scientific Conference to be held in Cologne at the German Sport University in November. And this title implies grassroots on the one hand, coaching activities, all the technology and innovations in the coaches' work, and of course also the medical and uh, prevention rehabilitation part carried out by our medical specialists. Grassroots is the big topic, I think, in all the sport associations. This is the case also in, in our plans for the future. In the next couple of years, we want to focus on that aspect. What does it mean, empowering grassroots? Uh, it is a challenge, it is a responsibility, and facing societal changes and responding by putting the right things on offer is one of the principles we want to follow. Of course, serving the sport and its people. For me, the most important message for all sport associations, sharing experience and values, which is important also for the topic you are dealing in this conference, in order to facilitate things, projects, and an ongoing development. Enhancing the community and taking care is, of course, very important in this connection too. What we started with this year in the Young Age Category Summer events for girls is a Respect Your Talent campaign. The idea of which is to identify young, talented players and to track their careers, but giving them the feeling, involving them uh, in the work of EHF carrying out workshops, uh, discussions, uh, brainstorming groups with the best, with ambassadors, former top athletes, and also the technical pe people, media people, also for social media in EHF. This project will be continued, of course, will be extended also to the boys, young age category groups, and we expect a lot from that. Last but not least, and as a proof that we collaborate intensively with the European Union uh, Sport Unit in several Erasmus Plus projects as a collaborative partner, we just finished the Handball for Dual Career Erasmus program, selected and subsidized by the European Union. Uh, that was an initiative by three renowned clubs in Europe, Palermano Granorea, Phoenix Toulouse and Ika Severhof, uh, joining forces with the Amsterdam University of Applied Sciences and FESI, the European Federation of Sporting Good Industries and the EHF. And I, I can tell you that the results that were already sent to Brussels in a final report following the final conference in Granorea are really promising and for EHF it is clear that we have to support dual, the dual career aspect in everything we are doing. My opinion and in also in agreement with Dr. Stefan Weitzel from the German Sport University in Cologne is that in the future higher education institutes shall try to offer tailor-made programs for the, the, the athletes already in the middle of their career so that it's easier for them, no matter where they are in Europe or uh, where they play right now, that they can jump on the wagon and start, for instance, a flexible cross-border sports science education. So this is one of our wishes towards higher education, but also to European Union to support these kind of projects. Once again, 
handful for life from the players environment from grassroots to the top and beyond is a perfect image carrier for EHF in the years to come. We already have the support of our president, Michael Widerer, who whose quote you can see on the screen here, which is very promising and another example for good governance from the side of EHF. And what I personally feel very honored of or for is a statement by our honorary president Jean Briot, who was very much involved also in the work of the European Union uh, Sport or the Commission and Sport Unit. He said, as you can see, that specifically preserving the player's integrity as a person, making sure that a top career handball is a way of giving oneself enhanced chances in further life. About this value and character virtue transfer from sport to ordinary life and vice versa, I think this is an excellent statement which is uh, also for us an obligation to follow this combined strategy and uh, philosophy in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for uh, your attention. As we always say or tell our players who go on court, uh, you are responsible for your own mindset. Please check whether your light is on. And on the other hand, in a team sport, only teamwork makes a dream work. Thank you very much.